Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers at home and welcome everyone to a presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. Thanks for joining us. With Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke, this is Brian Anderson. Joining us from the sidelines, Allie LaForce. We'll see the Oklahoma City Thunder taking on the Minnesota Timberwolves. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. Oh, boy, how slippery is SGA on the triple drive? Just so difficult to stay in front of him. Doris, how about the production we've been seeing from Shea Gilgis Alexander? B.A., he has taken that step from star to superstar, simply stated. I think he's got the potential to make multiple All-NBA teams, the ability offensively to attack at three levels, and to be equally good on the defensive end of the floor. This guy is something special. And here's Gilgis Alexander. He'll bring it up for OKC. This game against Minnesota is the first time they've met this year. They'll be looking for payback after grabbing the short straw in the season series last year. Now here's Holmgren. Giving them some good production. Putting up just around 16 and a half points a game. And here's Edwards outside. That one goes. Now he's one for two. Edwards, such an explosive scorer. You don't want to concede that three-point shot. Boy, that's going to make him feel good. And that one's good. Gilgis Alexander. When you're trying to stop a guy like this, you have to match his intensity level. First minute and a half of basketball played here in this one. The kick out to Conley. Let's go with a three. He can't get it to go. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. It's Dort on the wing. Oh, rejected by McDaniels. Well, Grant, something could go bare as just a defensive specialist. But he's proven to be more than that. Yeah, B.A., I like how Rudy uses his height to his advantage inside. Focuses on taking high-percentage shots that come to him naturally. And around two minutes played here in the first quarter. That one goes. Now he's one for two. Well, this guy could have powered on the interior, but goes to the floater game. This is one of his specialties. To the middle. And that one's good. Holmgren. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Oh, Anthony Edwards thinks this game is a dunk contest. Go ahead, young sir. What a finish. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. First quarter of basketball. Just over two and a half minutes played so far. Kicks it out, Towns. Over to the wing. Towns on a screen. For three, Conley. With his length and athleticism and basketball smarts, how about the contest by Shea Gilgis-Alexander? Excellent defense. Here's Holmgren. No luck on that one. Ooh, great D that time from Gobert. Left side, Conley. From behind the arc. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. And so it's Gilgis Alexander with it. He brings it up for Oklahoma City. On the take. It's rebounded by Rudy Gobert. Coming down the home stretch here, almost to the finish line, Doris. Truly an exciting part of the year. Well, exciting for us, B.A., but it can be a bit anxiety-producing for some of these teams, depending on where your team sits. This could be one of the most uncomfortable portions of the season. Are you in the playoffs? Do you have to go to the play-in? Do you like your matchup? There's a lot of questions at this time of year. This guy is such an explosive athlete. Shea Gilgis Alexander goes straight to the cup. Timeout call, the Timberwolves.
We've got 113 left in the first. Hey, you look at some of the young star power on OKC. Grant, they haven't had that since the Kevin Durant years. Oh, B.A., I mean, those KD teams were built through the draft. So no matter where they're picking, the Thunder seem to uncover gems. That, to me, is about Carl Anthony Towns carving out position on the interior. Such a pretty play. Out left to the wing. Goes back up. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to be on Nas Reed. You know, Doris, looking at the Timberwolves, they've emphasized rim protection. B.A., this is a theme across the NBA. As much as we see the proliferation of three-point shooting, team's first priority is to protect the painted area because those are the easiest shots. You've got to play to your strengths and employ good defensive philosophy. Here's Alexander Walker. As far as his production, he's averaging about eight points per game. The shot by Towns, no good. Boy, surprised he missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. Pass to Joe. Driving inside. Oh, and Reed with a block. Towns, left side. The kick out to Morris. Launches a three. Out of bounds, it'll be Oklahoma City's ball. Yeah, simply stated, you have to take care of the basketball, and they don't on that possession. It'll count. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer beater. And credit him for understanding the situation and coming through. And to me, the way you end quarters impacts how you end the game. It can go a long way. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far. And let's take a moment to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for Oklahoma City. Well, guys, early on, they're driving the lane constantly, using their quickness to gain an advantage. Look at their points off penetration. I think the other thing they've done a great job of is making their presence felt inside, converting tons of pain opportunities. The kick out to Edwards. Three-pointer. Oh, he nails that one. Three for four now. Trading the lead back and forth. Neither side is willing to back down. And right now you love the chess match, right? The ability of each side to adjust to what the other is doing. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. Hayward, right side. Wiggins outside. Alexander Walker grabs the board. A late second round pick in 2021. But Aaron Wiggins has earned his way into NBA minutes. And not a big name in college at Maryland, but he just continued developing. And everyone, of course, runs their own race. He's here now, and he is capitalizing. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Well, the Thunder are still developing with Shea Gilgis-Alexander embracing his role as a catalyst. He said, quote, I have the opportunity to really build something and be at the forefront of it. That's something I know and embrace every single day, and I maximize it for sure. Brian? Well, you can see it. They're so grateful to have him, too. Thanks, Allie. Right side, Gilgis-Alexander. Hayward, left side. Wiggins outside. Two on the clock. From the baseline. That one's good. And it's Hayward with the setup. Well, you love the unselfishness of Gordon Hayward in that instance. You think of him as a scorer, but he's a terrific setup guy as well. Oh, got that one up quick. Morris has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. From deep, Gilgis Alexander. Anderson pulls it down. Minnesota in the lead. Here's Edwards. And the layup is good off the glass. Edwards has got 10 points in the quarter. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. 
Here's Gilgis Alexander. SGA working through contact inside. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second. Edwards is doubled. Pass to Morris. Beyond the arc. And another three for Minnesota. Well, after a less than stellar start in the first quarter, you like to see that shot go down. And Grant, when you scan the OKC roster, you see length at every position. Yeah, it's definitely their philosophy, B.A. We're seeing a number of franchises going that route. What I would say about the Thunder, though, many of their guys still have some strength to add. So Oklahoma City going with almost an entire new group here. And so Conley will bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. They're coming off that loss against Denver. It was, frankly, embarrassing. I was shocked by their disorganization, and I think they were too. Well, frankly, they should be shocked. I mean, that kind of effort simply won't cut it in today's NBA. Let's see if they take any lessons from it. Dort outside. Back to Williams. Just four to shoot. Oh, it's blocked by Towns! Tremendous work defensively from Towns. His teammates love to see him send that thing back. Here's Giddy. Jams it in off the great move. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. At the end of the day, though, it's two points. Don't hang your heads. Let's get refocused and play with more patience. And the shot goes down. Conley's got five points now this quarter. I'll tell you, he's playing with much more discipline here in the second quarter. He is waiting for good opportunities and capitalizing. Outside Giddy. To the inside. Pass to Wallace. Takes the three. He buries it from three. Wallace has got his first three points of the game. I'll tell you, he'll take that all day, every day. I'm sure he was shocked to find himself that wide open. Here's Alexander Walker. Takes a three. That's his fourth miss in seven shots. You will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. It's one thing to prevent the layup. It's another to do it without fouling. Just terrific defense. Towns, that's good. And you'd think their lead would hold as long as they continue to shoot like this. Here's Giddy. And Josh Giddy is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. One thing they've been able to do in the first half is control the ball. They've given it up only once. So it's Minnesota now. Connolly with the ball. Give him eight points now. Stolen by Giddy. Good if it goes. Anthony Edwards has been on display for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Hit a couple from downtown this quarter. We'll be right back. And again, great to have you with us. A shout out to all the moms out there on this Mother's Day. And we've heard some, like Greg Popovich, say that three pointers are becoming too prevalent. Doris, you think they overwhelm other parts of the game? You know what? There is obviously a heavy emphasis on two things. Three-point shooting and restricted area attempts. I think the feeling is the mid-range has been eliminated. But here's what I know, B.A. To win a playoff series, that mid-range game comes back into play. And again, I go back to the point that I have been consistent about. To me, the game is still in a great place. And he gets the bucket. Edwards has got 17. Well, Anthony Edwards came into the league with a reputation as a scorer. He is starting to hum a little bit right here. Pass to Williams. Ooh, nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. A little relish, a little extra to that finish. The double clutch before laying it in. Edwards. And it's Giddy with a rebound. Oklahoma City trailing. And the defense didn't have position. They whistle a blocking foul, and he'll go to the line. It goes on Mike Conley. 
What's been amazing to watch is Shea Gilgis Alexander going from good player to now putting his name at the very top of the list in terms of great guards in the league. Well, Doris, the Timberwolves have made consecutive playoff appearances. That's a win for this team. Well, when you consider that hadn't been done in this organization going all the way back to 2004, it does show they are moving in the right direction. The next step, obviously, they have to win a series. Such great concentration. Anthony Edwards maintaining his focus through the contact right there. Here's Gilgis Alexander taking it inside. SGA. Three straight buckets to start the half. This is how they wanted to come out and execute. Pass to Towns. Here's Gobert. And Gobert with the stuff. That's a great setup by Towns. You love to see that vision from your big man. Inside. Here's Holmgren. And the big finish by Holmgren. Now, B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. He's carried this team to this lead on his back, handling almost all the scoring duties. Here's Gilgis Alexander. The kick out to Williams. Dort outside. Six to shoot. Pass to Holmgren. Fires the three. Rebound Minnesota. Stolen by Giddy. Now here's Holmgren. Down low. Here's Williams. McDaniels with some nice D. And here's Gobert. He'll bring it up for the T-Wolves. They've got a nine-point lead. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Hey, Brian, the Thunder are making dramatic improvement. Shea Gilgis-Alexander, now an all-star, says they're gaining confidence. He said, quote, we know we're getting better. I think guys are kind of getting addicted to that feeling and continuing to grow. Brian, they could be building something really special here. Yeah, you're right. They could. Skipping no steps either. Thanks, Allie. Well, instant offense. Be shot ready on the catch, Josh Giddy. Yes, sir. You know, for my money, Josh Giddy is one of the most entertaining players in the league, Grant. Yeah, he has superb vision in the open floor, B.A. Reads the angles and sees how plays develop with ease. His teammates have to be ready for a pass from Giddy at all times. And they blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance at another one at the stripe. Man, that's now ten straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense, man. And Doris Anthony Edwards has lived up to the expectations. He continues to get better each year. He does, B.A., and let's remember, as a former number one pick, that carries a lot of weight and responsibility. But Ant is a guy who embraces that pressure. He wants the spotlight, and he puts in the work to be great. His future is bright. Here's Edwards. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Edwards got 13 points now in the quarter. I'll tell you, the team is simply riding the hot hand. This guy has been lights out. It's Giddy on the wing. Over Conley. And no good trying to use the glass. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. It's Edwards with a drive. And oh, that was close. He draws the foul. That'll shoot two. That one on Giddy. Well, Anthony Edwards has got a well-rounded offensive game. He can put it on the deck and draw contact. Shows you right there. When you discuss the Minnesota Timberwolves, what would you say about their front office, Grant? Well, B.A., they want to be as competitive as possible. Whether it's who they are drafting, trading for, or signing in free agency, this team's goal is to be taken seriously out west. Williams from long range. He drops it from range. Williams has got seven. You've got to appreciate the consistency. Night in and night out, he brings it. The kick out to Conley. Towns on a screen. Five on the clock. Edwards for three. Three. 
Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits. It may be difficult to overcome. The T-Wolves on top. They're up by 10. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling here on 2K Sports. Fourth quarter action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. Now Gilgis Alexander. Here's Wiggins. Boom! He jams it straight down. Well, you love to see that vision from Shea Gilgis Alexander. Spread the love, young sir. Reed sets a screen. Edwards with it. Now Wiggins defending. Edwards can't hit. And here's Wiggins. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Timberwolves. Well, they have owned the offensive perimeter throughout this game, finding lots of openings and turning them into big shots. And their fast break has also been a key metric in this one. They have had a significant advantage in transition over the course of this game. And he sinks the second. Minnesota in the lead. Pass to Edwards. And here's Anderson. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Here's Wiggins. And that comes off the assist by Gilgis Alexander. Wiggins got five points now this quarter. <laughs> They're going at it on offense. Neither team backing down. I'll tell you, we have seen great execution from both teams. Neither one giving an inch here. To the paint. Shot clock at six. And they double up Edwards. Off target at the rim. That free throw good from Gilgis Alexander. Both teams will make substitutions. Oklahoma City trailing. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock. Fires from deep. Yes, sir! Gilgis Alexander with a deep three. Wow, Gilgis Alexander putting in the time to become a big-time threat with big-time range. Reed sets a screen. It's Edwards with a drive. down the first one and after attempting no free throws in the first half now he's putting the defense back on its heels and both free throws good for Edwards the way he's shooting free throws tonight you simply don't want to put him there pass to Giddy and that one is hammered home well you can see the long lanky frame of Josh Giddy on display right wing Deflects the pass. And stolen by Holmgren. Some room here for Williams. And it's Oklahoma City scoring again. You have to love their intensity right now. Getting hot at the perfect time. It took a shift in strategy, but it seems like they figured it out. Let's see if they can extend this run all the way to the finish. Good play call and good execution. The offense running on all cylinders. Outside Giddy. Gilgis Alexander on the wing. Back to Giddy. That one's good. And so Gilgis Alexander with the assist. Giddy's got four points this quarter. Wow, Josh Giddy might be young, folks, but a fearless big time bucket right there. And the Timberwolves call time here.
Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Over that last break, I got a chance to hear what Chris Finch said to the team. This might be a close late game, but don't tell coach they were cool as a cucumber in the huddle, and I think that resonates with their players. We'll see if that approach works. Brian? Thank you for that, Allie. That's one of those clutch shots he's known for. When the pressure is high, he seems to be the most locked in. Inside. Kicks it out, Towns. Fires the three. Doesn't fall. Now four for six. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's a shot he typically makes. Williams' shot is good. Hey, clashes with the larger defender and makes maybe the biggest shot of the game. Well, he knows how much was riding on that possession. You get the sense he relishes the chance. The kick out to Edwards. From downtown, here's Gobert. And Gobert with the stuff. Rudy Gobert is so competitive. Doesn't want to let a big moment go by. Nicely done. And the free throw, no good. Pass to Holmgren. Here's Giddy. With the drive. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Boy, plenty of pressure on Josh Giddy. Got to knock these down. First free throw is good. And that narrows the lead down to just three. Both free throws good from Giddy. You must embrace the pressure and knock down critical free throws. Nicely done. Pass to Edwards. One minute left in the fourth quarter. And there's the lob. And the ball out of bounds. Last touch by Edwards. Wow, what a time for a turnover. Shows you just how key one play can be. And so it's Gilgis Alexander with it. He brings it up for the Thunder. Trailing by two. Right side Giddy. To tie it up. Pass to Holmgren. Oh, it's no good. That would have tied it. And here's Edwards outside. Here's Towns. Outside McDaniels. Here's Conley. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Giddy. Now here's Holmgren. Back to Giddy. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Down low. Outside Giddy. Just three to shoot. Up and over Conley. Oh, and he can't make the shot to force overtime. So it's a narrow victory for the Timberwolves, pulling it out for the W. What a performance they had here at home today. I'll tell you what, these are the ones that are so nice to win and so tough to lose. I love being on the edge of my game, seat, man. never knowing what would happen next. And that about wraps it up.